Now a party election broadcast by the Christian Party, Christian People's Alliance. I'm George Hargreaves, leader of the Christian Party. And I'm Alan Craig, leader of the Christian People's Alliance. The Christian Party and the Christian People's Alliance have joined forces to fight the European parliamentary elections on a platform of justice for all, respect for God and care for his creation. The Christian Party is a Bible-believing, faith-based conservative party that believes in small government, greater neighbourly responsibility, low taxes based on an economy driven by thrift and enterprise rather than debt and consumerism. The Christian People's Alliance is a Christian democratic party linked to Christians in politics right across Europe. We exist to challenge the secular agenda of the big parties and we've carried the support of church leaders right the way from Anglicans, Roman Catholics, Evangelicals. What unites us is our Christian faith and the values that flow from it. Judeo-Christian values that have carved out our heritage and our history and provide the foundations for our hope in the future. Together, the Christian Party and the Christian People's Alliance have set out a manifesto of practical measures based on biblical principles that, if adopted, will make a better Britain for us all. We've called our manifesto a time of jubilee. Truth and integrity in the world of finance and its systems is a must. Change is vital. Life is a gift and we need to treat it as such, giving every opportunity to protect it. Let the people of this nation have their say on the Lisbon Treaty. Let me ask you, do you want to be part of a European state? Stop sitting on your hands, get up and vote. Honesty, integrity and respect are the values on which Europe has been built. Let's protect them. We need a fairer trade system for poorer countries and make sure we have fairer wages at home. So please, get your head out of the sand and vote. Suppose, for example, you're a voter and you have candidate X and candidate Y. Candidate X agrees with you on everything but you don't think that person can deliver on anything. Candidate Y disagrees with you on half the issues, but you believe that on the other half, the candidate will be able to deliver. For whom will you vote? I've asked Bill Clinton's question to audiences and individuals throughout the country. Almost always, voters tell me that they would vote for candidate Y the candidate who could actually make a difference. In these elections, candidate Y is the Christian candidate. By voting Christian, you will send a clear message to our politicians that they should turn back to the shared values that make Britain great. Honesty, integrity, and service to others, not to ourselves. By voting Christian, you will elect MEPs who will set an example, who will model those values through humility, not arrogance, fidelity, not falsehood, diligence, not dishonesty. By voting Christian, you will also address the elephant in the room, the real threat of the far right gaining political ground. By voting Christian, you will prevent such extremists from winning seats in the European Parliament. The European elections are different from council or general elections. They use proportional representation. This means that a vote for the Christian candidate is worth as much as four times the vote for Conservative, Labour, Lib Dem or Green. Yes, as much as four times. That was a party election broadcast by the Christian Party, Christian People's Alliance.
The turquoise seas and picture postcard islands look like heaven on earth. But all is not what it seems. How on earth could a handful of African families become a whole world full of people? Watch all the episodes so far online now. BBC iPlayer, making the unmissable unmissable. A wonderful puddle along the coast of Cornwall is here tonight on BBC Two. That's at seven o'clock.